If you're choosing between a foldable, there's a good chance you're choosing between the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. So in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the pros and cons for each device and ultimately select one that I would choose. Let's start with what makes a large foldable a large foldable, and that's the display. Google really upped their display game this year, making changes to the inner and outer display of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. The outer screen is now a 6.3 inch display with a 20 by nine aspect ratio, which is exactly what the Pixel 9, the regular Pixel 9 has for its display. Samsung continued to go in a slightly different route and the Z Fold 6 outer display is slightly taller and thinner with a 22 by 9 aspect ratio. So although Samsung has been doing better on making that outer display more like a regular smartphone, it's still not like the Pixel which gives you that regular smartphone aspect ratio. And also the outer display on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold has a better resolution than the Z Fold 6's outer display. It's almost like Google wants you to use that outer display more while Samsung just wants you to open up and use that larger inner display as much as possible. Now I get the point of a foldable is to have that larger display, but I really appreciate not having to open my phone up to do most of my task on my smartphone. I would prefer just to use that outer display for most things and just have that inner display when I really want a larger screen. And for the most part, the better experience is gonna be on the Pixel. Now, even the larger display on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is more impressive than what the Z Fold 6 has to offer. It has a larger eight inch screen and screen resolutions are pretty much the same between both of these phones. And while the Pixel is slightly taller and wider than the Galaxy, it's thinner overall, which on a foldable for me is much more important. So when it comes to form factor, displays, and aspect ratio, I just prefer what the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is doing. Now when it comes to performance, it's sort of a mixed bag. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor is obviously gonna outperform the Tensor G4. Now surprisingly, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold has more RAM at 16 gigabytes compared to 12 gigs on the Z Fold 6. Also, when it comes to battery life, the Pixel has a larger capacity compared to the Galaxy. So while the Z Fold 6 undoubtedly will have better overall performance, the Pixel shouldn't be that far behind. If the Google Tensor G4 can really hold up. Now, if something like gaming is really important to you, then you might just wanna stick with the Z Fold 6, but it's not that important for me. So performance on the Tensor G4 should be just fine. And hopefully with the additional RAM, along with the slightly larger battery capacity, hopefully that makes up for some of the performance deficiency here. Now, when it comes to camera, this will obviously be subjective and depend on whether you prefer what Samsung does with this camera or what Google does with its camera experience. Now keep in mind, both of these phones don't have the best camera hardware that either company offers, which is kind of a shame, especially because you're paying $1,800 plus for either of these phones. Now for me personally, I do like what both Samsung and Google does with their camera experience. And if you just want the best camera overall, you just wanna have the best camera experience that gets the best shots, the best video possible, you should probably not get a foldable to begin with. Now feature-wise, this is where Samsung really shines. You have S Pen support, you have Samsung DeX on the Z Fold 6. All the multitasking features that come with One UI is available on the Z Fold 6. And while the Pixel 9 Pro Fold doesn't have any of those things, I do prefer the cleaner Pixel UI, but I still have to admit, Feature-wise, it doesn't have as much as One UI. Google is including all of those AI features for its camera and its software, but Samsung does include Galaxy AI features that hopefully we get pretty soon. And because it does run Android, you probably will get a lot of Google AI features on the Galaxy. So when it comes to features, it's not really a contest. Samsung is gonna provide way more features than what you get on the Pixel. Now, are those features actually useful to you? That's gonna depend on your personal preference. Another thing to consider with both of these phones is durability. Samsung is on the sixth generation of foldable phones while Google is on its second. And that really means something. Samsung has six years of refining its foldable and Google is still working to kind of refine its foldable line. The Z Fold 6 also gets IP48 water resistance and dust resistance, while the Pixel 9 Pro Fold 
only gets IPX8 water resistance. So having that dust resistance for a foldable, I think is a big deal. I think this is the first Samsung Galaxy Z Fold that gets actual dust resistance. All the previous models had just water resistance if I remember correctly. I've had Z Folds in the past, I've had Pixel Folds in the past, and I've had a problem with all of my foldables. So having good durability or insurance is something that you should really keep in mind when you're purchasing a foldable. So in the end, which of these foldables would I choose? Now, I could easily just say it depends on what you value more. And yes, that is true. Do you use the S Pen a lot? Is Dex really useful to you? Do you need the best performance possible? Then you should probably stick with the Z Fold 6. But if you prefer the Pixel UI experience, you prefer the camera experience on a Pixel, and you just want a larger inner and outer display with better aspect ratio and design, then the Pixel 9 Pro Fold would be the best option. And even though those things are true, I'm still gonna tell you the one I would choose because I think it's kind of lame when you just say it depends on you. And for my personal preference, the one I would choose is the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I just really love that outer screen aspect ratio and the design and the Pixel camera experience. Those things are just way more important to me and it has me leaning more towards the Pixel, but it's not a huge gap. Both of these phones are great and you can't go wrong with either one. To be honest, I think for the majority of the people, the Z Fold 6 is gonna be the best option for them. But for me personally, that's the one I would choose just because of those things that I mentioned. But what would you choose? And why would you choose that foldable? Let me know with a comment down below. Hopefully this video gave you a better idea of which foldable is for you. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And I'll see you on the next one.